Hello kids! Hi! Aren't they amazing? Yes! Jellies do not have a brain, they don't have a heart, and they don't have blood. And they're 95% made of water. Why are there so many? Because they reproduce fast. These are moon jellies and their average lifespan is one year. Because jellyfish is a complex life cycle, we decided to send two of our marine biologists to train abroad for jellyfish breeding. Once they were able to study the breeding and the life cycle, we were able to do the breeding in our own facility. We were able to restock our displays here in Manila Ocean Park because of the breeding program. So do you want to feed the jellies? Sure. So jellies feed mostly on planktons like artemia, crustaceans, shrimps, and also other jellies. So they're quite carnivorous. The first stage, of course, the sperm and the egg will fertilize and produce a planula or a polyp. So it also needs a substrate. So as you can see, it attached to the coral chip there. You want to get the next stage, Mateo? That one is called the polyp with buds. buds. So it now has a bud, so you can see it's elongated. And then with it is the Ephyra. Ephyra. There. So after the Ephyra is the Premedusa. It's almost like the bell like Medusa, but the difference is, can you see? It looks like a flower, diba? So, but it's turning itself into eventually the last stage, the medusa, the bell like. This is normally what we see in the displays. So we now have the complete life cycle of a jelly. The jellyfish plays a role in the marine food web. Most often than not, they are food for other marine animals like the sea turtles. If they disappear in the food web, these animals would find difficulty looking for food. So it's also important to maintain them in the ecosystem because they in turn become food for other animals. Manila Ocean Park is not just an ordinary theme park. We also have a mission to educate the public, the Filipino youth, about the importance of taking care of our environment and saving the oceans and just being a responsible citizen and steward of these resources. It felt really great to be among the children. I actually learned a lot from their questions and their ideas. It's also nice to see that there are young children interested to learn more about the environment and the ocean and the marine ecosystem. It makes you realize that there is hope in the future, so we just have to trust them and just be confident that they will become good, responsible citizens of this country.